and welcome along to my low impact 30 minute fit session. So today we've got 30 different exercises. We're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest and there's no bouncing. So if you've got weak joints or neighbours that don't appreciate you bouncing then this one is perfect for you. But it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. We're still going to work those muscles, get our heart rate up and feel fabulous at the end. So our first exercise is marching on the spot. And it's not a gentle march, we're really gonna go for it. In five seconds, lifting your knee up towards your elbow as you go. Here we go, let's do it. That's it. That's 10 seconds down already. And then we're down onto the floor. Halfway. Keep it going. Ten seconds left. There we go, well done. Let me just turn my timer up so you can hear it as well. We're down onto the floor now, we've got crunches. So come and lie down on your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Hands on your thighs, sliding up towards your knees and back down again. Make sure you keep that gap between your chin and your chest so you're not crunching your neck down onto your chest. Just keep looking straight up at the ceiling. Exhale as you come up. Fifteen seconds left, keep going. Last ten. This is a full body workout. So we're not going to leave anywhere behind. Deafening. So we've got walkouts now. So come to one side of your mat, keeping your legs as straight as you can. We're going to walk out into a high plank position, allow your hips to drop so your abs engage, and then walk back up again. Let's go. And this is still a hit session, so it's not a gentle walkout. We want to get as many reps in as we can in the time. So really speed your way through it. Whew, 15 seconds left. Last 10. Apart, squat down, stand up. Make sure your back's flat, your chest is up, weight is in your heels. Here we go. To get a little extra squeeze from the squat, as you come up, push your hips forward, squeeze your bum cheeks together, and even tap your hands behind your bum as that will force your hips to go forward. As you squat down, make sure your knees are over your toes so your knees aren't caving in, otherwise you're gonna end up damaging them. Excellent, back down onto the floor. We've got bicycle crunches now. So we're going to bring our opposite knee to our opposite elbow and alternate. You can leave the other foot flat on the floor like I'm doing now, or if you want to make it harder, extend that other leg straight out, pushing the heel of that foot towards the wall away from you. And with these, sometimes people cheat and they bring their knee right in 
so you barely have to twist. You want to leave your knee at about a 90 degree angle and really crunch up to bring your elbow to your knee and then you'll feel it in your core. Last few seconds. Now we've got an alternating reverse lunge and a twist. So we're going to lunge back, knee up towards the elbow, swap sides. And as you bring your knee up, you want to do it with some force, it's not just a gentle tap. And remember, we want to get the reps in, so really go for it. Well then, and same with these, as you lunge back, make sure your knee is over your ankles and in line with your toes with that front foot. You don't want that knee caving in or wobbling out. Last few seconds. And if you want to make it even harder, 
lift that top leg up and you can bring the knee to the elbow too. Well done. 15 seconds left. Woo. Keep going. Awesome effort. Well done. Same again on the other side now. Enjoy the rest whilst we've got it. Here we go, in three seconds. With these, I know sometimes people get slightly frustrated because they can't do it straight away. It's just a case of being consistent and building that strength up. So if you can't do the hard, harder version straight away, don't be disheartened because you will get there. Just stick with what you can do and before you know it, you'll be moving up and onto more difficult versions. <coughs> Woo! You nearly walled over completely then. Right, we've got dive bombers now. So we're going to come into a pike position like this and then we're going to imagine that we're on a pendulum and our forehead, nose, chin and chest is sweeping along the floor up into a cobra and then back again on that pendulum. Coming back while sweeping across the floor is tricky. But keep going. 15 seconds left. Woo! Well then. Uh, stay low because we've got tricep dips now. So over onto your bottom. Hands behind you fingers facing slightly towards you, push your hips up, you're going to bend the elbows and then extend back up again. You should really feel your triceps squeezing and working. triceps so you get the most out of the entire movement. Last 10 seconds, keep going. Well then, we can stay down here again. We've got full body crunches now. So kind of lie down on the floor, extend right out. And then we're going to exhale and crunch in, tap the floor, really squeeze in and exhale and inhale and lie back down again. And as you stretch out, try and keep your head, shoulders and feet up off the floor. Nearly halfway. Keep going, 15 seconds left. Woo. And this is our halfway point exercise. We're halfway through the entire workout now. Woo. Right, we've got an in out squat now. So bring your feet quite close together, squat down, stay low, step out into a normal squat, into a sumo squat, and then back through those positions. There we go. That's the one. 
Stay as low as you can though. And try and go as quickly as you can as well. Come on. 10 seconds left. Woo. Stay low. Well done, brilliant effort. Back down onto the floor now. We've got our flutter kicks. So you can put your hands under your bottom if you need a little bit of support for your lower back. Lift your head, shoulders and feet up off the floor. And we're doing little kicks up and down for the entire 40 seconds. If you want to make it harder, extend your arms out behind your head. Woo! That's halfway. Keep it going. Yes, you can. Come on. Woo! Last few seconds. Brilliant, well done. Right. Now we're going to start in a standing position. Going to come down, kneel, stand back up again. That's it. And we're going to try and go as quick as we can without thumping down onto your knees. This is exercise number 18 of 30. So we're on our way to the finish line now. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. These get surprisingly tiring, don't they? Well done. We've got mountain climbers now, but because it's low impact, we're not running them, we're stepping them. So come into a high plank position, bring your knee in, and you want to cross it over your body, bringing it towards the opposite elbow, and alternate each side. Keep going. Try not to let your bum lift up too high. That's halfway. Keep it going. For any of you that want to make it slightly more high impact, feel free to run these. Well done. Stay low because we've got spider lunges now. So we're going to come into a plank position again. And we're going to step our foot to the outside of our hand. Step back and repeat the other side. Really feel that stretch opening up those hips. Well done. Keep it going. Nearly there. Woo. Awesome effort, well done. We've got a reverse plank swing through. So come up into this position. In fact, no, don't do that. Bring your hands in front of your bum and we're going to push up into that position and then swing through, trying to keep your bottom off the floor 
for the entire movement. If done correctly, this one really gets your abs. Really hard. Last 10 seconds. Keep your bum up. <coughs> Woo! Well then. Oh, right, we've got thrusters now. So again, we're going to come into that high plank position. And we're going to step our feet in, step them out. If you want to, you're feeling able to, and you've got neighbours that will mind, you can jump them. But obviously that makes it slightly more high impact. If you're doing the same version and you're stepping in and out, it's not a dilly dally though. Get the reps in. Keep going, 15 seconds left. Make sure you're breathing as well. Keep it up. Well done. Right, exercise number 23. Leg raise and hip lift. So come down onto your backs. Hands under your bum for a little bit of support for your lower back. And we're going to lift our legs up. When they get to 90 degrees, we're then going to push our hips up to the ceiling and slowly lower our legs back down until they're almost touching the floor, but not quite. Exhale as you push your hips up to the ceiling. Keep it going, halfway. And you don't want your feet to come over your head. You want to keep your legs at about 90 degrees to the floor. Whew. Amazing, well then. Whew. Don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Low impact certainly doesn't mean low intensity. We've got a push up and a pike push up. So we're going to do a normal push up into pike position, do a pike push up and repeat. If you need to do push ups off your knees, that's okay, just drop to your knees, then come up onto your feet for pike and bring your head as low to the floor as you can for that pike push up. Woo. And again, wrap it out. We're not on holiday. Amazing, well done. Right, we've got a sumo squat now. So we want our feet really wide. And we're going to squat down as low as we can and really push our knees out to the side. Make sure your back stays flat and your chest stays up. That's it. And really, really focus on pushing your knees out. Keep it going. We've got five exercises left. And then that's us done. Excellent, well then. So now we're gonna put our arms up to the side and do little circles forward. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders up as you do it. Try to think about dropping your shoulders, lifting your arms to shoulder height, and doing little circles. Here we go. Looks easy, it gets tiring by the end. And at halfway, we're going to 
reverse the direction that our arms are going in and we'll go backwards in three, two, one, backwards circles now. Keep going, 10 seconds. Well done. into orbs. Imagine there's a big orb in front of you and you're circling your arms around it. Get ready. In three seconds. So the top of the orb is level with your shoulders. Well done. That's ten seconds down. Just start to feel your shoulders tiring now. That's halfway, keep it up. Woo. We've got a bit of an arm finisher, an arm burn to finish us off today. Well done. Now we've got these pushbacks. So we're going to bring our arms up to shoulder height, twist your palms so they're facing behind you, and we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades and bring our arms as far back behind us as we can whilst keeping our arms straight. That's the one. Really squeeze your shoulder blades. Woo! And keep your arms at shoulder height, don't let them drop. Yep, I'm feeling it too. That's halfway. Woo! Keep it going, come on. You didn't come this far to quit here. We've got 10 seconds left of these and then you get a 20 second rest. Come on. Keep it going. Earn that rest. Woo! Well then, give them a bit of a shake. We've got arm raise now, so we're going to bring our arms up and down, you can do both at the same time, or alternate. Imagine that you're paddling through treacle, so you need to keep your arms rigid and paddle up and down. Woo. That's the one! This is our penultimate exercise, we've got one left after this. Come on, nearly halfway. Fifteen seconds. Keep pushing. We're nearly there. Half an hour of hard work and you'll earn that stretch, cool down, shower, drink, meal and relaxing what afternoon or morning or whatever you've got planned. So our final exercise is a T-plank push-up. So we're going to come down into a push-up position. Push-up, over into a side plank. Push-up, over into a side plank on the other side. Again, if you need to do the push-ups off your knees for the, um, for the push-up, then that's fine. Whew. Come on, nearly there. Final exercise. Let's push through and keep working. If you're having to take extra breaks, that's okay. Remember what you did and then revisit this workout so the next time you do it, you can try and get a little further through it. Woo! There we go. That is us done. Although my timer says we've got one more. So I do think I've missed one. So we better not finish there. Let's finish off with those marches again. But bring your knee over to your opposite elbow. Sorry, I lied. There was one extra exercise. 
I'll try and work out what it was. <laughs> I don't know. This really is the last one now, I promise. It's better that we finish it properly, isn't it? Yay, there we go. Final exercise done. Excellent effort, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you have a stretch out. You can try out my cool down so you're not aching tomorrow. And do subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know how you got on. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Thanks everybody.